Okay, so what we want to uh, discuss here is uh, this question in sample questions. Uh, so using the bitwise complement property of DES, we want to prove that the uh, key search space for a 56-bit key-based DES in a chosen plain text attack is big O of 2 to the 55 and not uh, big O of 2 to the 56. So basically, we have chosen plain text attack that is possible with DES and you want to show that the search space for the key is we don't need to try all possible combinations of zeros and ones and make it look like 2 to the 56 combinations so we have to just try for 2 to the 55 if we have if we make use of the bitwise complement property and given that a chosen plain text attack is possible so first of all what is the bitwise complement property of des so if we pass a uh, plain text p and key k to des let's say we get a cipher text then the bitwise complement of each of them which means we change all the zeros to ones and ones to zeros it's also called the ones complement is like um so let's say the bitwise complement of p is p prime and for k is k prime so if we pass p prime and k prime to des we should get some c prime which is nothing but the bitwise complement of the original cipher text C. So that's the bitwise complement property of DES. It holds good for any plain text and key K. So we can we are going to exploit it here uh, along with the chosen plain text attack. So in a chosen plain text attack, uh, uh, what we have is the attacker has control on the plain text that he can choose. Uh, and uh, pass it through the DES routine and get uh, corresponding cipher text. So, uh, in this case, the attacker knows the chosen plain text, which is P. Since he knows P, he also can say he knows P prime. It's bitwise, bitwise complement. So, since P and P prime are known, the attacker can pass them through the DES routine and obtain the corresponding cipher text uh, messages C1 for P and C2 for P prime. So essentially we can say that uh, uh, DES of P and K will get C1 and DES of P prime and K we get uh, C2. So now we will use the bitwise complement property on this C2. Uh, so what we have here is if uh, DES of P comma K is C, DES of P prime comma K prime in is C prime. So we apply that bitwise complement property here. So which means uh, complement of P prime is P itself and complement of K is K prime. So we can say that when I pass uh, P and K prime to DES, I get C2 prime. Okay. So we are going to work now with this uh, DES of P and K as C1 and DES of P and K prime as C2 prime. So if I so uh, let's try the different possible keys. Uh, so let's say we have um, a three bit search space. So let me remove these for the time being. So let's have a three bit search space or in general the 56 bit search space so we choose a test key which is say this t and i pass t with p because we basically have uh, what the way the way we have it here is uh, the same plain text okay so we have the plain text as p for both the cases so all we have to do is we have to see if i pass uh, the um, plain text P and the key T, we see whether we get C1 or C2 prime. So if I get C1, it means the key T is our this key that K that you're searching for. Okay, so we can say it the other way: the search key K is the test key T uh, that you tried. If we get C1, if we get C2 prime, if we get C2 prime, then the search, uh, then basically the K prime is T because that's what we have here. DES of P comma K prime is C2 prime. So if I pass T with along with P and do DES, if I get C2 prime, then K prime is T. 
So if k prime is t, it implies that k is t prime. Okay. So if we get c1, we know that the such key k is t. If we get c2 prime, it implies that the such key k is t prime. So which means if I try with uh, t as 0, okay, if we try t is 0, 0, 0, and uh, we get, if we get c2 prime, then the search key k is essentially t prime, which is 1, 1, 1. Okay. So which means <coughs> when I tried for this, if we get the, uh, uh, the cipher text to be c1 itself, then we know the search key is 0, 0, 0. If we get c2 prime, then we know the search key is 1, 1, 1. Right. So again, going from the general thing that we have here, so let me copy and paste it again here. So what we have is what we have is this. So if we get C1, then the search key K is T. If we get C2 prime, the search key K is T prime. If we do not get C1 or C2 prime, then it implies what? It implies the key k is not t or not it's not t prime. So it means if we try it once, and if you don't get c1 or c2 prime, it means we have exhausted two possible uh, two out of the different search keys that we can try for. Right. So in this example, if we try with t is 0, 0, 0, and we did not get c1, it means the search key is not 0, 0, 0. Right. If we try, if we have t is 0, 0, 0, and did not get c1, then the key is not 0, 0, 0. And if we have t is 0, 0, 0, and did not get c2 prime, then k is not 1, 1, 1. So with just trying this t equals 0, 0, 0 and going through just one round of DES with the same plain text because with this plain text p, if we did not get either of them, then it means we are searched for two keys basically instead of one key, right? Instead of just one key. So out of the 2 to the 56 combinations of uh, uh, the search key space, we have to just try half of them. So in this case, for example, if I try 0, 0, 0, it means it's as good as telling I have tried this, right? So if I try 0, 0, 1, it's as good as telling I tried 1, 0, 0, not this, 1, 1, 0, right? 0, 0, 1, and the complement is 1, 1, 0. If I try 0, 1, 0, it's as good as trying 1, 0, 1. If I try 0, 1, 1, it's as good as trying 1, 0, 0. So with four, uh, with four tries of DES, which means just trying with four different keys, we have tried all the eight keys. So in general, if you have 2 to the 56 as your search space, uh, we have to just try half of the search space, which is 2 to the 55. That's the complexity. So we'll stop here.